Hey everybody, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com. And in this video, we're going to explain how T-Mobile is lying about their 5G coverage. They just released this saying, hey, we have the most 5G now, but it's not exactly what it seems. Yeah, so they're not technically lying because 5G is more complicated than 4G. 4G, there's 4G coverage and that's the way it is. But with 5G, there are different bands. So there's high band and there's mid band and there's low band. 5G phones, one of the most important technological advances that's built into them is the ability to switch between these bands all the time. It's called adaptive beam switching. So the phone, if it's in a high band area, these are the millimeter waves, this is the Verizon, AT&T coverage. This coverage is super fast, but it doesn't even penetrate building walls or most of them. So maybe if you're at the Verizon store, which has like a glass panel and the door open and mm. you're using the phone near the front of the store, you're gonna get some crazy high speeds. But if you're in the middle of a big building in a city, you're not gonna get these fast speeds. So then what does the phone have to do? It has to be in touch with the mid band which is kind of in the middle, it's very fast, can penetrate buildings, but it's kind of like this uh, layered system that 5G is. Mm. And then there's low band. So this is what T-Mobile is talking about. T-Mobile does not have 5G like Verizon does. That's why we say that they're being misleading about it. They're saying we have this 5G coverage everywhere. So yes, technically 5G is low band. And what I love about this is that T-Mobile is coming out and bragging about their 600 megahertz network. It's like this new technology. If you remember back in the day, I remember having a TV with rabbit ears attached to the top and we would tune into the local stations and you have to like wiggle them around and you get a good signal. Well, that was 600 megahertz technology. The FCC, if you remember back in 2011 or so, started to shut down all of the over the air. Maybe your cable box said, or their cable provider said, hey, we have to give you this box. They shut down all the analog transmissions and they moved to digital transitions for everything, which made room in the world of wireless radio waves for somebody new to come in and use the same 600 megahertz space. 600 megahertz, if it was all about the megahertz, you could look at 3G and 4G, 1.8 gigahertz. So three times shorter waves, faster capability there, but less distance. So the lower the frequency, the more distance. That's why T-Mobile, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, David, help me out here. Yeah, so I mean, it, really, if you, if you want fast 5G, there's only a few urban areas that have it at this point. We have right. a city list with a card above and the description section below. Yeah. Uh, but what T-Mobile is offering isn't really faster, and there have been some speed tests conducted uh, that show that the Verizon 4G LTE, in some cases, is faster yeah. than the T-Mobile 5G. Yeah, T-Mobile actually put out, at some point, in one of their own press releases that their 5G coverage is gonna be, drum roll, 20% faster than their 4G LTE coverage. And Verizon's 5G coverage is like 20 times faster, not 20% faster. Mm -hmm. So this is a huge difference. This one carrier is talking about 5G, Verizon has 5G, AT&T has 5G, T-Mobile has 5G. They're all completely well, different yeah, technologies. I mean, they're all using the same term of 5G, but they might be talking about high band or mid band or low band. They're not really right. explaining that to you. It's, it's not even really that complicated though. Mm. Like high band, you're gonna have a lot of little boxes, super high frequency, high data transmission, mid band somewhere in the middle. It's gonna be good for cities and slightly outside cities. And this low band is the blanket, bottom of the barrel, mm. like backup 5G coverage that T-Mobile is bragging about. Another downside of this is that right now, T-Mobile is only selling two 5G phones that you can use their low band network. It's the OnePlus 7 Pro McLaren. McLaren is a special phone. Yeah. And the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 10 plus 5G, 5G. which is <laughs> perfect. With a lot of lot of letters and numbers. You nailed it. Uh, but yeah, that's two hundred dollars more expensive than just the regular Galaxy Note mm -hmm. 10 plus. Yeah. Uh, so it's really not. I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, I saw a Verizon commercial lately too. It was like, imagine all the things you can do with 5G. If Verizon 5G can deliver performance like this in these places, but it's pretty crazy. Just imagine what it can do for you. But you can't do anything with 5G. You can download your video games really fast. Yeah. And, but that, okay, yes, it takes me eight seconds to download a video game instead of two minutes, but does that really change the way that I use my phone on a day-to-day -day basis? Not yet. No. You're supposed to agree with me here, David. Yeah. You're on my team. Eventually, maybe maybe eventually there'll be some cool stuff you can do with it. Okay, but, I'll yeah. agree with you then. Right now, agree. Right, right now, 5G, it's not worth it. Not worth it. Extra money for a 5G phone, really. Thanks, Dave. At the end of the day. Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. Thank you for watching. Uh, that's how T-Mobile is lying to you about their 5G coverage. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great videos about cell phones and plans.